much fun creating my first ever like what's in my closet that I wanted to redo or I wanted to do my first ever fall lookbook 2019 and so as you can hopefully see my outfit is one that I will talk about in a minute but I first wanted to start off by saying that I am not sponsored I do not have a sponsorship by Depop, Poshmark, Dolls Kill I don't even know I do not have Daddy's credit card, mommy's credit card. I do not have $14,000, $1,800 to spend on a fall wardrobe. I don't even have, I was going to say, I don't even have $1,350 to spend, but maybe I could budget like $1,350, maybe even $36, $38. No, it would have to be something closer to like $36 because you always have to factor in tax. But anyway, so we are going to, oh, 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 hun. So, we are going to create this fall lookbook. And I combined a lot of what I like, what I think is cool, what I think is different. But also, I took to Pinterest. And I searched fall outfits 2019, fall style. And I also searched a couple of my favorite icons. And um, uh, Hollywood celebs, whatever, what have you, artists. And taking what I like and then taking what's out there I created looks using what's already in my closet what I already have on hand and I would dare you to do the same thing you don't have to rush out and buy every new shirt because trust me trust and believe you probably already have eight in your closet already we just have to be creative we just have to take a fresh new approach, new look at things, and so I wanted to talk about this outfit I just put together. I almost went to the thrift store, but then the weather was awful, and I didn't, I just, I couldn't deal with it, okay? So I walked over to the closet that, um, like, we have a bunch of clothes we're going to give to Goodwill. We're going to donate, and I took a fresh look at my closet. And the stuff we were all we we had in trash bags, and I put together these looks. So let's start off with outfit number one. So this is my outfit number one. It cost me zero dollars, and I have no idea. Oh wait, so apparently this is an old old navy sweatshirt. And these are cool funky tights. If I can remember where I got them, I'll link it down below, or I don't know, I'll put it in the description. And then I got these shoes at like Shoe Depot or something. They're really cute. The zipper's broken on one of them. Literally, we are about to donate this crap, except for the tights. I love the tights. So this outfit was kind of based on one of my favorite artists. I will put the picture right here. Hi, it's me. So literally, when I was putting together this video, Almost every single outfit of Billy's, I literally thought of oversized sweatshirts or sweater dresses. So I had to do a voiceover for this because I literally just realized I only filled in one of my eyebrows and there's a bird squawking so freaking loud in the background that I literally just decided to do a voiceover. And I wanted to incorporate these tights, those shoes, and my favorite little sunglasses to create this look. When you have to make sure it's really recording. So I thought I'd show you some behind the scenes. So I didn't plan on my first outfit being the Billy, um, Billy outfit, but I guess I wanted to start off strong and start off with some of my favorite celebrities and artists, models. So the first look was Billy. The next is is Kara and I literally styled my hair in braids and I didn't know Billy had had braids except with mine I crossed them in an X atop my head in a modern like edgy milkmaid kind of moment I don't know and then for Kara her hair was just crazy cool and down so I'm literally restyling my hair and it's taking this video is taking so much more effort than I had thought. So, but that's, oh my gosh. But that's okay, I'm just gonna part my hair 
and we'll have outfit number two. But I thought I'd share some behind the scenes. The only makeup I'm wearing is some um, pencil on my eyebrows, and I may throw on some lip gloss. Outfit number two. I've always been such a huge fan of Cara Delevingne, and I absolutely love everything about this outfit in particular, so I couldn't find the necklace accessory and the closest thing to the jacket I had was a fuzzy black version of the biker jacket but I layered a BCBG black top with a white spaghetti strap t-shirt and I found some jeans that literally I went through all my jeans and these were the closest. So moving on to outfit number three like I said I literally google searched Pinterest fall outfits 2019 and literally on the first scroll that pink and black mini skirt look was literally one I came across, absolutely loved it, wanted to attempt to recreate it. I know that this is so far off, but it's the closest I could do. So this next outfit is really iconic in my opinion. I absolutely love everything from her hair. If I ever go darker with highlights, I'm absolutely going to replicate that, but I literally scrolled I literally went through my closet and I found the closest thing I could to matching the dress I already love scarves and accessories so I had the scarf on hand and I had to include the little Starbucks moment so for outfit number five part one so I combined outfits five part one and part two into this look so I forgot to layer a black t-shirt under the plaid but instead of a red plaid I have a pink plaid and I forgot to throw on my jeans, but here's outfit five part two where the jeans and then I layered a white shirt for this look. And I know the cardigan, the topmost layer is black instead of brown, but I did my best to just mix it up. And then for fun, I totally just included this distress. This is what I'm calling my like art t-shirt. <laughs> I literally ruined this t-shirt in art class. But I absolutely love it. I think it's really edgy, really different. No one literally wears a bleach distressed, old as can be vintage t-shirt that they literally just found at the thrift store. I thought it fit me so cute. I may cut it into a crop top, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah, hey, hi guys, it's me again. So what I also wanted to say with the last two looks, I'm not comparing them to anything I found on Pinterest or anything from Hollywood. These are just two looks that I totally took a fresh new look at. Almost everything I'm wearing was literally in trash bags about to be thrown away. So this look in particular, I'm calling the ex-boyfriend <laughs> sweatshirt moment because that sweatshirt was literally my ex-boyfriend's and it ended up in my clothes and then in, <laughs> it ended up in a trash bag destined for some thrift store and I when I was putting together this video, I literally took a fresh new look at everything we we're gonna throw out, everything I already have, and I also wanted to just create some looks that I haven't worn before because, yeah, but taking inspiration from Googling Pinterest fall outfits 2019 and creating my own lookbook, I wanted to create two of my just own original ideas spending zero dollars going through clothes I was going to throw away anyway and or what I already had in my closet. So that is everything you guys. Thank you so so much. Yeah so true to form a lot of my videos annoyingly enough have two intros, two outros and so while I was editing, <laughs> editing this I realized I didn't have a sufficient outro. So first and foremost, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever fall 2019 lookbook or fall lookbook 2019. I'm not sure how I'm going to title this video, but please take inspiration from what you like, what you think is cool, edgy, different, and from the trends you like. Take a fresh look at your closet. You'll be amazed at the looks you can create with what you already have. You don't have to spend thousands, hundreds, you don't have to spend anything to create really cool, really different, really edgy, unique looks. So, oh my gosh, I never fixed my flipping eyebrow. Okay, so, um, that's pretty much everything for now. I 
freaking love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you to that new subscriber. And just thank you to all of you guys. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. You know what to do. Yeah. Okay, so I was going to say I hate saying that cliche mind-numbing stuff. But for anyone new to YouTube, you got you to gotta subscribe, ring that bell, like, share a comment down below, and tell me what looks you're going to be creating, what fashion trends, styles you love, you hate. And actually, sneak peek, I almost have a rant video on the way because I hate, I friggin' hate the little teeny tiny glasses trend. I think it is so stupid. I literally have, I used to have this book of Mother Goose rhymes from when I was like eight or what, four, eight, I don't know. But I had parents that loved me and, or family that loved me and read me bedtime stories till I was like eight. So, and then my little cousins came along. But anyway, we had this book with Mother Goose and she was wearing teeny tiny little glasses. And every time I see those teeny tiny glasses, I think of that Mother Goose book and I literally think it's the ugliest most awful trend I've ever seen like cycle back so or just cycle I don't know I've never seen the teeny tiny glasses trend but I'm assuming they're from the 90s but I don't know I just but I hate it I think it's like oh oh okay so that's that is really everything thank you so much you guys I freaking love you don't forget to like subscribe I already said that oh my god okay bye guys <laughs>